hello everyone welcome back to my channel guys daniel here from golden finds and we are back with another video featuring what made it home from the thrift store for halloween so code orange thrift finds and what made it home what spooky things do you guys think i brought home with me so let's go ahead and get started with today's video as always thank you so much for my supporting friends who have came back and are watching this video if you guys like what you're watching then definitely make sure that you are hitting that like button for those of you who are new welcome again my name is daniel if you guys love halloween christmas vintage items thrifting estate sales decorating this is the channel for you i do welcome you to hit that subscribe button and become a member here of our family in golden finds so before i go on to start with the haul you guys i did want to go ahead and do a for your consideration moment to shout out my wonderful friend sarah sarah from the snug bungalow thank you so much my friend thank you thank you thank you i have some magic mail that i received from her she is on whatnot for those of you who do not know what whatnot is it is a selling platform where you can buy lots of cool goodies on a live show it's kind of like an auction kind of like think of it as a little bit as ebay but instant where you can actually um get your items and purchase them right there and then and then they're shipped to you and these are all ran by people who do live shows and i purchased some few goodies of hers from her live sale where she does a a sale where she shows all of her shelves she has a bunch of shelves full of awesome stuff and lots of vintage goodies for those of you who go on whatnot sale you know do whatnot sales and go to see what you can find definitely go ahead and check out my wonderful friend sarah again from the snug bungalow i will go ahead and also link sarah's channel she has a youtube channel which i will go ahead and link below in the description box below for you guys to check out her videos she is so sweet she is so wonderful she is so adorable and her and I just share a really strong bond of you know thrifting and estate sales and vintage like items and Sarah if you ever get to the Halloween decorating I hope you share it with us on your YouTube I do recall from the live show that you did is that you love to decorate your home for Halloween so I would think that would be so cool I know that you've shared with us some of the themes that you do for like summer and stuff like in your dining room but I would love 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 to see your Halloween displays as well so again Sarah thank you so much for sending me the items this way and I am so excited to share with you guys what I picked up so I got this vintage Donald this Donald duck is so cute it is a ceramic piece it is marked Disney China so this is a cute vintage ceramic piece of Donald duck I also purchased this beautiful spooky pin this is so perfect for the spooky season I just love this this is so adorable and it glows in the dark and the most cutest crocheted pumpkin ever this is so adorable you guys the top does open for you to put items inside of it this is so cute i absolutely love this and then last but not least is like this vintage looking pick of a ghost holding a pumpkin so these were so adorable i absolutely love 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 my magic mail again thank you so much sarah for you know everything that you do and keep up the amazing work that you do on your whatnot sales i absolutely enjoy them i enjoy hopping on you know even if it's just to say hello or to browse at everything that you have i just love it it's my little guilty pleasure don't tell my work while i work i watch <laughs> And it's so amazing. I just love it. I just really, really love it. I love your enthusiasm and your love for passion and everything for thrifting and estate sale finds and vintage goodies and everything that you have in your shop. So again, thank you so much, Sarah. And thank you so much also for being such a supportive friend. Okay, so I always put you guys, I try to put you guys in cinematic mode because it just looks so much prettier and it makes me look also very prettier on camera. But there's always this issue with the focusing. It always tries to focus on the face and it, when it starts to focus on the item, it blurs things out. So instead of giving you guys headaches, I'm just gonna kind of, you know, deal with it. It's fine. I still look gorgeous. 
<laughs> okay so the very first find you guys thrifted from goodwill is this vintage pumpkin pail this is so stinking cute i love 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 pumpkin pails this was only 99 cents can you guys believe it this is a vintage piece there is some wear like it looks like it was bent the the, the the handle so this is a very tough plastic but it is bent and it looks like it was even scratched i i don't know i don't know um but this is an empire mold and i'm trying to see if there's a year on it but it doesn't say it. but it is vintage my friends from shiny bright doggo for those of you who follow them on youtube say that this is a clear indicator is when the rivets here are metal that hold the strap that is a really good indicator that it is a vintage piece so i'm going to go with that and say that this is definitely a vintage pumpkin pail and at 99 cents it is definitely such a great score now moving on in no particular order i also picked up this boo sign from goodwill this was originally from walmart it was two dollars and 99 cents it still has the walmart tag on it so this is really cute it's perfect it's neutral going with what i'm doing for halloween this year and i'm also going to share with you guys some estate sale finds so this is going to be like a big mixed haul then next up we have the most cutest pair of ghosts that i have ever seen and this was a thrift find this was two dollars and 99 cents i believe this might be a vintage piece it says made in taiwan it is a total of four ghosts and they are all lined up and they're ready to spook up your town spook up your day they're so cute you guys can see it's a ceramic piece they all have different expressions. This one sees, seems like he's not too sure. This one's kind of like, well, and this one's like, oh, this might be fun. And then this one's having a ball. So I just think these are so adorable. These were so cute. Again, older Halloween is always so much fun. So I knew that I had to pick that up. Now, this next piece is very overwhelming because it was very disappointing because I... I think I was too enthralled by the find to realize what it actually was. So many of you guys saw this beauty right here when I found it at the thrift store when I did my shopping session, um, Code Orange Halloween Thrift Edition. It says Haunted. It's a Raiden piece and it's in white lettering. Well, it was originally... $5.99. It still has the brand new tag from TJ Maxx. I was just too excited. I have one of these that I found last year at TJ Maxx and I believe it was actually an orange. You guys, this is a DIY piece. Someone made the haunted using probably like, you know, um, a cricket and used it to make the haunted signage of Ray Dunn. It's actually a store store container it's a store right on piece so this is the actual font this is you know you can see the ridges into the letter it's a store this is haunted and it's clearly a vinyl sticker so i feel like such a dumb dumb but it's okay i still like it you can't even tell if i wasn't telling you guys this you guys would never know because the font looks exactly like it and from far away you can't see it so i mean i paid 5.99 it's still a brand new ray dunn canny and it's in black which i love but it's not really the haunted halloween but it's okay it's okay i absolutely detest how you guys can see shadows well the reflection in my glasses i normally wear contacts but i'm just too lazy to put them on right now next up we have the happy halloween candle i did pick this up this is a ray dunn love the orange type font on there it smells very cinnamonish definitely fit, like i can smell the scent of cinnamon in there and this scent is pumpkin pie so that makes sense now because pumpkin pie is like a cinnamon taste three dollars and 99 cents for this brand new candle it's never been used so it's definitely brand new and then let's see what else so again i am going to be sharing some 
Estate Soul finds as well. Then I did pick up these cute, cute cards. So these are a gift card assortment. They are little cards that you can send out to your friends. It comes with 24 Halloween gift cards and envelopes, rare ephemera images, two of each 12 designs. Only 99 cents, you guys. So these are definitely vintage inspired. They have a bunch of vintage images, which I absolutely love. These are going to be perfect to send out to friends and only a dollar. That is a really good price. Then moving on, it's going to be a big mixture, you guys. This is from savers a dollar 99 for this cutie this pumpkin ghost i absolutely love it i did find another one as well in goodwill actually that goes with this one i think there's like a bunch of different ones um but again pumpkin ghost or ghost pumpkin i know a few of you said told me in the comments what you think it was this is a dollar 99 at savers and this is a vintage piece I don't think it has a mark a maker. It just says made in Taiwan, but it is vintage. Let me put this on the side. And of course, you guys knew that this was going to be a no-brainer. I knew that I wanted to bring this book. I am collecting Clifford books for our future children. And this one was no exception. And it's Halloween. It's the first Clifford's first Halloween. It's absolutely so adorable. Do you guys remember this? Oh my gosh, look at Clifford. He's trying to pull his little treat bag. So it's so cute. I absolutely, absolutely love them. He is, this book is so cute. I absolutely love it. So that was only 99. No, I think it was actually only, I think it was less than a dollar. They gave it to me at Goodwill. So I absolutely love that. And I also found this very interesting button. It's like a lapel. I think this is like a lapel pin or a, it's supposed to be like those buttons you put on this thing is huge it says trick or treat but it's definitely giving me like vintage vibes I feel like this is possibly something from the 90s not too sure it was only a dollar 99 but it's so huge that it also has a vacuum for you to display it on a table so I thought that that was really fun and you know just whimsical and then I do have a few other items that I have to gather, but this one was really cool. This was a Savers find as well, Savers thrift store. This is more newer. It was $5.99. It was originally from TJ Maxx, but I just fell in love with it, you guys. It is a trifold, and it's so cute cute i absolutely love this it's definitely giving off vintage inspired it's not vintage but just look you can see the witch the cat and the pumpkin person all dancing together and they're having such a ball this is really cute and i love that it's outlined with glitter so it still gives us some really sparkle effect the witch is holding um both of their hands or almost she's not holding oh actually no she's trying maybe she's just dancing and then we see that the cat is holding her broom so i just thought this was such a fun piece i couldn't leave it behind so i just thought it was so adorable and last but not least you guys i have two more estate cell finds this little guy is absolutely adorable. Look at it. It is absolutely so cute. It was $4, but I think I got this for 50% off on the last day. So I got it for $2. This is going to look so cute with a little tea light. It reminds me of the pumpkin that the ghost, which these are also vintage. They, It's a ghost holding a pumpkin up. And this just kind of reminds me of that. So I thought this was so cute. I couldn't leave it behind. I'm a sucker for pumpkins. And then last but not least is this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous piece. I actually found this when I went to an estate sale with my friend Kathy. Hey, Kathy, if you are watching, thank you so much, my friend, for being so wonderful always. And for us, you know, having a shared love of Halloween and vintage and Christmas. So I found this at an estate sale. This was only $2.00. This jar is huge, but 
this is a cool vintage piece as you guys can see i do have another one that matches this piece as well but that one doesn't have a huge pumpkin i believe it is a goblet vase and it is the exact almost same design as this you guys can see that it has all of these vintage people all of these children are dressed up as different halloween characters and it's just this is adorable you guys it's vintage this is a vintage piece you can see the witch the big pumpkin the skeleton the ghost they're all ready to spook up halloween and have a good time and then this does have a marking on it it says cg83 so i'm thinking this is from 1983 so this is 80s halloween and this is just I don't know what in the world I'm gonna do with it, but I could not leave it behind. Not a two, not for two dollars. I couldn't. This thing is so huge, and nobody even found this. When I checked out, um, there was a lady that was like very interested in it, and she's like, "Oh my gosh, where did you find that? That is so cool." Nobody had seen this. It was on a box, like on the floor outside of the house, where they had a bunch of other stuff on the backyard, and I just was so excited when I found this. That is the end of today's video, you guys. Let me know in the comments below. What did you like out of the entire Code Orange thrift haul? What was your favorite item from this entire haul? Let me know in those comments below if anything sparked an interest for you. And if you guys are ready for Halloween, I know I keep asking for that. I know a lot of you have said either yes or no. But let me know, when do you guys start decorating for Halloween? I would really love to hear. I think I'm going to gear towards September. I think I'm going to probably start decorating for Halloween. Um, I think I want to do my hutch. I know that a lot of you love watching me decorate the hutch. I kind of have fallen back from that for a long time just because I really haven't had the time to try to decorate it for the season. And it's just a lot of, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work taking off the current theme which is the neutrals what i have on it right now which you guys have seen um and then decorating for halloween i have to have an idea of how i want to put everything i still have my bins in storage i only have a few with me right now that we brought back from storage that i'm going through to see what i keep and what i donate or what i sell so i have to kind of strategize what would be the best timing for it but i do want to share a halloween decorating session with you guys when i do my hutch i absolutely love decorating my hutch and i know a lot of you like to see what i do with it so i will go ahead and definitely start working on that so i can start getting the wheels turning to try to see how we're going to do that i know it's going to be a witch's theme so it's going to be decked out like if it was a witch's hutch literally so i'm so excited for that and i have so many ideas in my head and hopefully it all works out but i am excited to always bring you guys along for that but again as always i would love and appreciate for you guys to leave a comment just let me know anything if you like to know if you have any questions on any of the items that i found i would be so happy to answer them i do hope that you guys are having a wonderful day whenever you're watching this and thanks again for the strong full support and each of you for always leaving comments for those of you that do it really means a lot to me it does take me a while to get back and message you guys back in the comments but i do promise you that i really appreciate it so much and i just become overjoyed when i take the time to read to you guys or read your comments and give you guys a thought out full answer because i don't really like to do just the heart and like i really do like commit to taking the time to respond back to you guys because you are taking the time to comment to me so it has to you know be the same way because i appreciate it so much so again thank you so much you guys and i hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day bye